Is it shed loads or is it shit loads of money? I don't care. Dear friends, welcome to a ringing new episode of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. Since concerts are cancelled all over the world, many musicians deeply worry about their finances. Or actually, many of us are simply broke. But if you chose the arts business to make shed loads of money, even without a crisis, you probably chose the wrong profession. Or you should have become as famous as Beethoven. He would have made tons, tons, tons of money, right? Let's see, in this episode 16 of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. Beethoven and money. Would Beethoven have become 250 years old and still be alive today, he would be the Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates of composers. Royalties were flushing in and there was nothing for him to worry about. But of course, that wasn't the case during his real life. To make a living in Vienna, he performed as a pianist. He was absolutely excellent in it and his improvisation skills were legendary. And his concerts were held in private salons. Rich people would pay for concerts and in that way Beethoven was able to make a living. But for his public performances of his own music, he was only able to raise admissions later in his life. In the 34 years that Beethoven lived in Vienna, he only was paid for public performances 15 times. No wonder he writes a furious piano piece when only he loses one penny. It's a very funny piece that Beethoven wrote in the late 90s of the 18th century. Um, he left it incomplete and unfinished and it was only published a year after Beethoven's death in 1828. Composer Robert Schumann was very fond of it and uh, found that it expresses the harmless anger similar to that felt when one cannot pull off the shoe of one's foot. Now, the business for music was changing during Beethoven's life. The best way for a composer to make money was still by commissions. Uh, a rich patron would pay for a piece in exchange for certain rights, exclusivity and, of course, a dedication. But music publishers also opened businesses. Uh, there was a great amateur market for them because the only way to enjoy music for people was by playing it themselves. And as a composer, you had to be very smart in choosing the right publishers, or in Beethoven's case, be a bit false from time to time. This is Beethoven's fourth symphony, written in 1806 and dedicated to Count Franz Oppersdorf. Now, Franz Oppersdorf was a music fanatic. He was extremely rich, so rich that he even had his own orchestra. And it is said that in selecting his personnel, he looked at their musical skills more than at the skills they need to have for which they were hired. At his castle in 1806, one of Beethoven's symphonies was performed. And the Count was so impressed by it that he immediately ordered two more symphonies from Beethoven. Beethoven started writing and by the end of 1807 he was able to hand over the score of a new symphony to the Count and receive his 500 florins. But the generous Count also paid for the next unwritten symphony, which was a very bad bet. Because shortly after Beethoven managed to close a deal with publisher Breitkopf und Hertel, promising them two more symphonies. Bye bye deposit of the count. So Beethoven was a very cheeky businessman, not very honest all the time. 
and not very good actually because 500 florins isn't much for a symphony. He was in constant financial trouble and worries, but he was rather economic with his money. He didn't care about luxuries and didn't spend his money on um, useless things. He invested most of it in bank shares and he did so to leave a fortune for his nephew Karl. Karl was uh, Beethoven's nephew, but he considered Karl as his own son. We'll talk about their relationship later. But by the end of his life, because of the bank shares, Beethoven had built quite a fortune. If you would calculate it to today's value, it would be 145,000 euros. So he was a really rich man at the time he died, and only 5% of the people in Vienna were able to say that they had such a fortune. Beethoven died a rich man, and it is possible for a musician or a composer to make a lot of money in your life. It won't happen. It won't happen. That's it for now. Um, this was episode 16 of my Beethoven series, my weekly series on social media. If you enjoy it, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channels. Have a nice week. Be careful with the little money you have and the little money you can earn these days. And um, see you next week. Mm -hmm.